This has been quite a ride. It's a bond like we've never seen before. The best vice president America's ever had, Mr. Joe Biden. At times, more like a White House buddy movie than a political partnership. This also gives the internet one last chance to <laughs> talk about our bromance. And then a surprise parting gift for Biden, who thought he was simply coming over for a farewell toast with the Obamas until he saw his whole family. For the final time as president, I am pleased to award our nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. I don't deserve this, but I know it came from the president's heart. He's a truly, truly decent man. I remember, uh, you know, uh, when Bo was first diagnosed and he rushed to the hospital and he came, he came literally running down the hall in the shirt sleeves. Is he all right? Is he all right? After eight years, the Bidens and Obamas forging a friendship so close, they consider themselves family. My family is so proud to call ourselves honorary Bidens. In their darkest hour, the Bidens asking the president to give the eulogy for their son, Bo. I'm grateful every day that you've got such a big heart and a big soul and those broad soldiers. I couldn't admire you more. Their friendship often reaching a fever pitch on social media. Biden tweeting a photo of a friendship bracelet on the president's birthday. Happy 55th, Barack, a brother to me, a best friend forever. To know Joe Biden is to know love without pretense, service without self-regard, and to live life fully. I just hope that the asterisk in history that is attached to my name when they talk about this presidency is that I can say I was part of part of the journey of a remarkable man who did remarkable things for this country. Mr. President, uh, I'm indebted to you. I'm indebted to your friendship. After nearly 50 years in public service, Joe Biden tells me he has no regrets about his decision not to run for president again. It was the best thing for his family at the time. And that he has plans for an active life after the White House. There's the cancer moonshot, there's teaching, establishing a foreign policy institute, and who knows what else for a man who seems forever young. Matt Meredith? So I'm glad there were no cameras in my apartment yesterday because oh, I was sitting yeah. there just oh, crying. Weeping. Right. I, just, I, just, I just burst so out crying beautiful. when I saw yeah. that moment. It was incredible. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.